And protesters took to the streets following the mistrial, but demonstrations did remain peaceful last night. Our complete coverage continues. Mike Shu live outside City Hall with that calm response. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. This city has learned the hard way the difference between protest, unrest, and riot, and clearly last night was protest. It's just minutes after the mistrial was declared. I pay you. Protesters take to the streets. It starts as a small group, but quickly turns to dozens. I kind of expected this uh, based on a deadlock. I, I didn't see that as a good thing. Voicing their frustrations about the hung jury. We have nothing to lose. Man. Anger first, and then just disappointment. Outside the courthouse, our cameras caught two people being arrested by the Baltimore Sheriff's Office. Tensions were high at that point. Come nightfall, the group reassembled and made its way towards I-83. This is a very fluid situation we're following here. This group uh, left City Hall. But here they were met by police. Duty to Some tried blocking traffic. Officers, though, stood shoulder to shoulder, making sure the demonstrators remained lawful. And then those demonstrators went over to City Hall. Frustrations that extend beyond the death of Freddie Gray. If we want our voices heard, we have to speak through action, and that action needs to happen in these communities. Perhaps the protesters or potential protesters were swayed by this statement from Gray's family. They said that we asked the public to remain calm and patient. We are calm. You should be calm too. I'm Mike Shudley, WJZ Eyewitness News, reporting live downtown at City Hall. Lynn, back to you. Mike, thank you. And here's what you need to know. A mistrial has been declared in the trial of Officer William Porter. After three days of deliberations, the jury said they could not agree on any of the four charges. Several peaceful protests took place across the city. Lawyers will meet this morning to discuss a new trial date. Stay with WJZ for complete coverage for the latest on what happens next when lawyers from both sides meet with the judge today.